Your PC setup needs more RGB. I don't even know what your PC setup looks like, but what it needs is a um, giant RGB mouse pad, apparently. Yes, because now height of all people are making the synvis. Which, yes, I know it's supposed to be canvas, but that's how they spat it on a box, so that's how I'm gonna say it. Once you force it to leave its comfortable little yellow box, you get, well, the mouse pad. Alongside a couple of cables, a C to C cable, alongside a C to double A adapter as well. Yes, if you don't have a USB type C port dedicated to just this mouse pad, you're gonna have to sacrifice two USB type A ports to drive this thing. But once you start rolling it out, you'll see exactly how big this desk pad is. 100 millimeters by 370 to be precise, and with a thickness of 5 millimeters, it is still comfortable enough, but let's be honest, most normal people won't even be able to tell the difference between, say, a 5 millimeter thickness pad and something like, say, a 4 or a 6. But what about those RGB effects in her? Huh? Well, what about them? Once you do connect it up to your PC, and you do install yet another piece of RGB software to control it, you get some pretty nifty looking effects, and they can actually be customized a lot. Though, hey, if they can be sent to my channel's primary colors, well, well, I don't really need much else. And it does actually look pretty great with 50 individual LEDs and a pretty good semi-transparent material used on the rim of the mouse pad. Well, it does look pretty fantastic as long as you're fine with having so many lights in your room. But what about the most important thing? The price. How much do you have to pay to gamify your mouse pad like this? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint, but it's $120. Yeah, $120 for a mouse pad. But hey, at least it also comes in white if you want it. That high of a price tag does kind of put me in an awkward position, because on the one hand, it is rather exorbitant for a desk pad, but on the other, Height only just started sending me product review samples and I don't want them to stop. And okay, well, I can complain about a price. The thing is that apart from that, there isn't really much else for me to complain about. It does exactly what it sets out to do, looks good, the RGB software works well enough, and it does have plenty of customization options. What else do you need? Apart from a lower price. And if it's something that strikes your interest, then Amazon links to it are gonna be down in the video description below. Alongside a Patreon, which I always try to guilt trip you into supporting us on. Plus also huge thanks to our existing patrons, Kevin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Fronyak, Death Panda, Balash Velka, Mexum, Nashin Allcraft, Lensby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good bye.